We have 13 weeks on our menu cycle, uh, which is a combination of an old menu cycle when uh, Sherry Sharada, the center director, got here, and then a new one that she put together. And then when I started here, actually just about six months ago, we combined the two of those cycles together, uh, which gave us the 13 weeks. And so essentially, <clears throat> your, your menu essentially serves as your, as your grocery list, and that's, that's literally how I, I do my grocery shopping. I don't necessarily use an actual separate list. I will have just my menu in front of me at the computer, and I'll go down each item, starting with Monday morning snack, what I have on that list. Um, if it's something like, for example, Monday this week we had a, a muffin, that's something that I make from scratch, so I would make sure I have those recipes uh, with those items that we make from scratch so that I can account for every ingredient that's in there so I know that I've got it. Um, and then I literally will shop just one day at a time, starting with Monday in the morning through Friday afternoon. There's some items I will just know off the top of my head how much I have, like your staple items, like your sugar, your flour, brown sugar, et cetera, stuff like that. I'll, I'll generally have a good idea how much of that I've got on hand and I'll know if I need to order more. Um, other items that you don't necessarily use very often or every day, I, I'll stop just as I'm at the computer. I'll go into the kitchen real quick and see if, if I have it and I'll look, yep, I've got enough. And so I don't need to order that. Um, I generally try to keep my inventory really to a bare minimum, uh, especially with using a 13-week cycle like we do. Um, yeah, there's a lot of items that I, I will continually use on a repeated basis, but there's also a lot of things you don't use a, a whole lot. And so it, it makes it easier on yourself when you're doing your ordering if you keep your inventory really to just the minimum that you need. As I'm going through and I'm doing my grocery ordering online, you know, fruits and vegetables, purchasing fresh, you know, you hit times of the year where different, different types of produce, they go up in price, they go down in price. So one of the things that you can utilize are, here's a buying calendar for vegetables, and we also have one for fruits. And this, of course, is, is by no means an all-inclusive, but it just simply lists um, each month of the year, and then it tells you what vegetables are in season during those months. And so especially during the winter months, December, January, February, even though we have an extensive menu cycle, I, you know, we hit a stretch where I've got something on my menu, say on a Wednesday, is a vegetable that's not necessarily in season or the price isn't quite where I like it to be. And so you say to yourself, okay, what, you know, what else can we throw in? So you'll see, you know, in December, what, say if we're in the month of December, you got broccoli, Brussels sprouts, carrots, cauliflower, you can really substitute any one of those vegetables in and they, they should be at a pretty decent price given that they're in season. Some of the things that I think um, that home providers can take from our program is that you can have cycle menus like we use um, and we have multiple cycles based on seasonal fruits and vegetables so um, that those menus reflect when tomatoes are in season or when sweet corns in season. Um, so you could have menus like that.